It's one thing to tell new drivers about the dangers of distracted driving. It's something else for them to experience it firsthand. Now, no one's suggesting to put these teenagers on the road and let them have at it. But the Registry of Motor Vehicles has come up with a new program where these drivers can learn the lesson without putting the rest of us in danger. We're pleased to be joined this morning by the Registrar of Motor Vehicles here in the Commonwealth, Rachel Caprillian. She joined us live from our Beacon Hill studio this morning. Rachel, thanks for your time this morning. Good to be here. Thanks, Gene. Uh, let's start with this first. In spite of what parents and instructors are telling kids these days, how big of an issue is distracted driving? How big of an issue does that continue to be with our junior operators? Well, it's a pretty big issue. I mean, considering that it is a way of life for young people to text, some of them, I think I've heard statistics, that they get and receive over 200 texts per day. Um, so this is a way of life for them, and it is very important to underscore the dangers of texting while driving and that it is illegal as well. And for junior operators, it's illegal to talk on a cell phone while driving. Um, you can be cited and you can lose your license for up to a year after the first offense. Now, we're seeing some video shot yesterday at Revere High School where you guys unveiled a program called Distractology 101. What exactly is this? How does it work? Well, Distractology 101 was, um, was formulated by a UMass professor who actually put a science um, to how long it takes for a person to get distracted enough to cause a crash or an incident of some kind. And it only takes uh, like two or three seconds to take your eyes off the road and onto your, you know, if you're looking at your screen, um, where you may get into an accident. And young drivers are four times more likely anyway to get into a, a serious crash than, than their adult counterparts. Um, so they um, found a way to simulate that action with a software program um, that the kids in Riviera just really, you know, got a big charge out of it. Well, what was the biggest thing you think they learned? Did, did, did it sink in with them that how, how big a problem this can be and how easy it is to get distracted? It did seem to sink in um, because they, you know, they're very used to video modeling. So they got behind the wheel and they looked at the text and um, most of them did uh, go, either go off the road, go over the yellow line or crashed with the car in front of them. So I think that they were all taken aback at how quickly it can happen. Junior operators have to go through class Classroom. They have to take uh, driving lessons, they have to drive with mom and dad too before they can get their license. Do you foresee this maybe down the road as becoming part of the training for junior operators? Well, uh, given how, how common um, applications are and how easy it is to get software, I don't see any reason why this can't be um, accessible and applicable to, uh, for so many uh, young people right at, the, right at their keyboard and their computer at home or at school. Of course, there are adults who think they can juggle and do different things while they're driving, too. Perhaps they would benefit from this as well? Well, the no texting applies to all drivers, not just to <laughs> teen drivers, so I should remind uh, the public about that, too. And, uh, and lastly, Rachel, the, the changes that have been put in place over the last couple of years to the junior operator laws overall, those have been pretty effective, haven't they? Yes, the data is that are irrefutable that has really made a difference in crashes and in, particularly in fatal crashes. Um, so it is important to kind of keep, when you're driving, to be driving and not be distracted by your cell phone um, or by uh, something else that could take your eyes off the road. And with Distractology 101, is it going to go to schools in Commonwealth? If, if someone wants to try it, if, if there's a, a group of students who want to try it, what's the best way they can take part in this? Well, we'll be putting it up on our website, and you could also Google Distract, Distractology 101. Um, and it is sponsored by Arbella uh, Insurance, who's one of our partners, uh, one of our many partners in helping uh, the public to realize the dangers of distracted, di distracted driving. Well, it's a pretty good program. You get work in there. Sounds neat. I know Kim needs to do it because she's always very, very distracted. So, <laughs> uh, I kid, I kid. Rachel Caprillian, uh, Red Star Motor Vehicles here in Massachusetts. Thanks for your time, Rachel. We appreciate it. Thank you.